So if you want to use your iPad Air Pro or regular iPad in portrait mode like this, you can. If you want to rotate it some more, you can use it in landscape like this. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome tech videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, cases, tech accessories, computers, tablets, and really just so much more. But anyway, folks, in this video, we're going to be unboxing this guy right here, the 12 South Hover Bar Duo Stand for various iPads. So I'm going to be using this stand with my 12.9 inch 5th generation M1 iPad Pro, and I'm super excited to get to seeing what exactly it's like. So without further ado, let's get to doing just that. Here we go. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this box. As you can see, it says Hover Bar Duo. 12 South, it says use it two ways, shelf clamp or desk stand with both included. That's pretty nice right there. We've got a picture of the stand and the iPad in it, as well as another picture here and that picture there. And over here, it says hover bar duo and another picture right here. And then lastly, over here on the back, we got a bunch of different pictures of this stand in use. And it says it is for the iPad, iPad Air and the iPad Pro. So without further ado, let's just open up this box. We can just slide the outside the box off it right here and then we can go ahead and open this part right here and we can flip it around actually and see hover bar duo right there we can pull this piece out we can pull this piece out as well and then here are the actual stand materials so right here we've got the actual grip that the iPad goes in wow that's fun to play with right there right here we've got the stand itself and you know what let's pull this whole piece out we can then grab this piece right here put this down and last but not least we can pull the actual stand itself and man that has some weight to it right here we can pull that out and put this piece away and then voila here are the different stand pieces right here so let's pull the plastic off of this one and oh yeah that was pretty satisfying right there now right here this piece is actually going to be the clamp if you'd like to clamp this onto a surface like a desk but I think in this video I'm going to be using it just on this stand that comes pre-installed right here to keep it nice and easy so anyway let's go get this iPad grip all installed on the stand right here so we got to line up these sort of like star tooths on both the stand itself and the grip right here so let's do this and see if we can get them all nice and lined up and there they go and then we can rotate this little piece right here to twist it into place and get it on nice and tight so these two pieces stay together that would obviously make sense we don't want it falling off with the beautiful iPad Pro in it that would be a very expensive mistake okay and let's see it feels like it is installed right here and we can tighten this a bit as well and let's get my iPad Pro in the stand so now I have my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro right here and first things first I usually have my Apple pencil attached to it and I'm sure you're wondering well if you're gonna put this little grip part of the stand on your iPad you can't fit the Apple pencil in and you are correct so there's actually a nice little slot right here to put your Apple pencil while the iPad is in the stand so now we have that over to the side and let's try to fit my iPad in this right here and we got to be super duper careful because I do not want to damage this very expensive and very big screen on the iPad and wow just like that it is in the stand so that was actually pretty easy so here let me try to grab this stand right here and oh man this is making me a bit nervous but here it is is in the 12 South Hover Bar Duo stand. And wow, look at that. Now this would be really good for like watching YouTube videos on the iPad or even like maybe putting a mouse and a keyboard here and using this as like almost like a mini desktop computer except not a computer and iPad. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool stand right here. Um, as you can see, can you rotate it? Let's see, yes you can. So if you wanna use your iPad Air Pro or regular iPad in portrait mode, like this you can if you want to rotate it some more you can use it in landscape like this i just really think this would be great for watching youtube videos because it is just so much closer to your face like this um, rather than having the ipad maybe down on a table or even if you use like some other sort of stand because the um, stand i currently use the one built into my otterbox symmetry case
case for the uh, M1 iPad Pro right here, it just rests on the table. It doesn't elevate it this high right here, so that is pretty cool. And another thing that this um, iPad sort of reminds me of in this stand is it almost feels like a kiosk. So maybe if you own your own business or something and you want people to like check out on an iPad, I don't know, or do something on an iPad, this would be cool for like creating a kiosk for the iPad since it raises it like this. So that's pretty cool. And let's see, can we raise it any higher? Oh yes, we really can. So let's see. And it is a bit stiff moving um, it around in here, but I guess that could be a good thing because then, you know, I don't want the iPad being all floppy, especially because it's, you know, this is a big one right here, 12.9 inches. We don't want it getting damaged. So yeah, you definitely have to put in a lot of effort um, to move it in the stand like this. And wow, this is really high in the stand now. I sure hope this doesn't tip over, but yeah, it feels pretty solid in there. This weighted base is definitely good. Maybe, yeah, I would probably wouldn't use it this high because there's definitely a good bit of wobbling uh, there when you tap it. So yeah, I wouldn't use it this high. But if we put it back to where it was before, I thought that was a good comfortable height rate there for viewing on the iPad. So another thing now to note is, you know how it's kind of hard to move the hover bar duo um, at some of its joints, they are very, very tight. These tools right here actually included in the box. You can stick them into the holes on the side and unscrew them and make them looser so you can move it around more. So I think that is pretty interesting. I actually missed these tools when I first unboxed it. I guess they were hidden or something. So that's just something to note. If you get the hover bar duo for yourself, you can make these joints looser. You just have to use these hidden tools right here. Well, I don't know how hidden they were, but I didn't notice them. So it kind of stinks that you have to use tools to loosen the joints right here because I don't know, it would be cooler if you could just automatically um, do it by like spinning something like right here um, instead of having to use tools so you can quickly do it on the go without searching for your tools right here. But yeah, if you're wondering how to make the joints looser, you can do it with these guys. But now one thing that I'm really wondering is what it's like to draw on the iPad with the Apple Pencil when it is in the stand. So now I have it here in my ideal viewing position just like this in the Hover Bar Duo. And I have the Notes app open. I have my Apple Pencil right here. And let's just draw something. So I don't know, a smiley face, and yeah, let's see. Let's try writing something because that might be a better indication of this. So let's see, I can just make sure we have it all like this. So what should I write? Hi, I am testing this very stand. Oh yeah. So as you saw there, I was kind of holding onto the iPad, but let's try doing that without holding onto it. So hello, oh wow, you actually can. This is me writing. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, there's definitely uh, quite a bit of wobble when you're trying to write on it, especially when you're not holding it right there, but it is still usable. Like you don't even have to hold it, so that is pretty cool. So I guess if you like writing up in the air like this, it almost feels more like a whiteboard now, you can do that. Now, next, let's go ahead and watch one of my very own YouTube videos on the iPad when it is in the hover bar duo right here. So here we go. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing this guy right here, none other than the purple iPhone 12. And wow, I will say not only does this video look great on the M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro's beautiful screen right here, but it looks even better at this angle right here. Like if I was holding my iPad, I'd probably hold it similar to this, right? Closer to my face instead of resting on table. So I think this is a really, really great how the stand can get it so much closer to your face. And I think this is a much more positive viewing experience than having it standing up the iPad on its own, just resting on the table having it elevated in the air like this, I think this is actually makes a huge difference and is much more enjoyable. Yeah, folks, with that, there's not really much more to say about the 12 South Hover Bar Duo stand for the iPad right here. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the stand. Do you have it for yourself? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And if you want this stand for yourself, it'll set you back about $80. Also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.